Simo Hard, a name that I had to acquire after they called me Ida for a long time and when I was fighting spiritual warfare I could find that I have many shortfalls and the enemy is using those shortfalls and then I, as I saw the Lord, he, he helped me to know that even a name, the name we carry, can alter our characters contrary to the gospel. And I asked him to give me a name, and he gave me the name Gloria. Name Gloria means glory to God. And that's what I want to do for the rest of my life, for his glory. Amen. You see, I is worthy. I want to say, to say a few things about how I met, I met my husband. Uh, I was a teacher at Ninakuru, and there was a fellow teacher who, who joined me. And uh, he, he was, in those days, I think we loved the Lord more than we do now. And uh, we would share together and talk, and his name is Festus Mwakoma. And he would say, you, if I was ready to marry, I would marry you, but I'm not ready. So I'll introduce to my friend, his name is Karanja. He's a preacher of the gospel. I'll introduce you to him so you can marry him. <laughs> and I would tell him I'm not even ready to get married, so it's neither you nor him. Uh, I want to serve the Lord a little longer. And uh, after some time, that the Lord spoke to me. Maybe you have seen that in the, 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 the small book. And he said, I want you to begin to pray because I want to bless you. And I kept praying. I was praying in the spirit. Because I don't know what is this that God wants to give me. Uh, maybe he wants me to go to, go to university. I wanted to go to the university. And then after praying for some three or four days, praying in the spirit very honestly, after school, after you know, school was half day, those days. Uh, then I asked him, Lord, what do you want to bless me with? He said, I want to give you a husband. And I was shocked because I didn't have friends that I could say maybe so and so or so and so. Uh, and after some time, this friend came to visit the teacher, Mr. came to visit first as Makoma where we were teaching. We were fasting and we were praying so that the school children would also know the Lord. And that day, we went to pray at his house. And then that day, the Lord said, today you will see him. You will see the man I'm giving. And I was thinking, maybe I'm going crazy or something. And he told me, before that sunset, you will see him. And sure, sure enough, the friend came because Philip will, will seek his friends wherever they are. He will seek his friends, no matter how, they, what, how far. He will go to any leg to keep friendship alive. And so that day, uh, when, he, when, when he came to visit Festus, and he was, Festus had gone out for a while. When he came back, he was holding uh, Philip in his shoulder. And the Lord said, this is the man. He said that to me, this is the man I'm giving him to be your husband. And the rest is history. <laughs> well, it's okay. Let me tell you, this man in my life has been a blessing I cannot describe. Because he has taught me, it's like he raised me. I was hot-tempered, I was, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know how this, to describe the before. And what effort and in, in much love he has put to improve me. Uh, one of the things that uh, used to bother me a lot about him is his generosity. Because Philip was so generous, he would even borrow to give someone in need. And then he would, it doesn't matter what it was at hand. I remember he would sometimes give away my clothes. As, you know, because the one he wants to bless is <laughs> a lady. So he could not bless that lady with his clothes. So he would take mine. And then there was one particular one he gave, and I tried to retrieve it. <laughs> and that lady said, you go and buy another one like it. But you see, it was so rare because it was from US. It was, it's me, I still remember it. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, 
There is peace in my heart. And I really want to thank you, each of you who have been praying. And I know uh, the Bible says, peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. So, his peace will stay with me. Those who are with me in the house are encouraging me, they are, they are telling me, eat, don't do this, don't. I'm, I'm reminding them, I am strong, the Lord has strengthened me. So rejoice. Amen. God bless you all for every effort you have put to help us and to stand with us. May the Lord bless you abundantly. Thank you. We need your prayers. Uh, the bishop left. We are here to celebrate him. And uh, MC will allow me to break protocol a little, please. There's a few things I need to clear because he has left us as much as we are here. We have to speak a few truths. Ghost and fathers, you are here. He was a man. He's a giant like you are. You have walked with him. You know the troubles you have been through. But I would say something as a family that I have not even discussed with my family in depth. The bishop died, he left a small way. He did not leave us. But we are a small family, we have no issues. We will have no fights. I would advise this, our fathers, who are before us. Please, where possible, leave instructions. Even how your ministries will be there. Mama is here, she has been left a home. She has been left a ministry. Instructions are not clear. Please, I request you to stand with my mother because everything that belongs to that man, including his ministry, will be received by her. I request that you stand with her. You help her navigate this area we have not navigated before. Please do not leave us. Please give your sons direction. Sons of these fathers, my colleagues, my peers, I request you take interest in our father's ministries. Take time to find out what, what our fathers are doing. Find out where their interests are. Find out where their properties are. I'm sorry that I'm deviating, but it is something that needs to be said. Right? Yes. We are together. Now, back to, to the matters at hand. Again, I would say my name is Richard Karanja Ndomo. I'm a son of the bishop, and I'm happy that you're all here. I'm thankful that you've come to move with him. And I will begin to give my my uh, tribute as a son. It is hard for me to speak. What can I say about such a great man? He was a man larger than life. He was my father. He was my inspiration. He was my hero. He was my pastor. He was my leader. He was my best friend. He was my best friend. And he was an inspiration to me. I have lost so much. He was always there for us as a family. He made sure that we got all the leadership we deserved. We be it spiritual, be it fatherly or financial. He was always forward looking and had a knack. He had an eye for seeing one's potential for growth. And he had a will to maximize on your potential. In short, he will never leave, let you pay. And he will not let you give up on yourself. He will always encourage you. He will always push you forward and nudge you forward very gently. He taught me the art of overlooking other people's fault. Even when they were apparent, he taught me, son, learn to forgive. You need to walk with people, and when you need to walk with them in a distance, you need to be able to have a gift to forgive and to move on. So in honor of this great man, today, today, I will ask each one of us, go through your heart, look at somebody you have a grudge with or something, somebody you hold something against, and in the honor of this great man, find some forgiveness in your heart and forgive somebody today. Amen? Be blessed and remember this great man. 